Welcome to Multiply, a podcast to encourage church planters, pastors, and Christian leaders. I am your host today, Daniil Snowden. 1 Thessalonians is a book written by Paul to also encourage the church of Thessalonica. In chapter 1 and the first part of verse 5, we read, For our good news regarding salvation came to you not only in word, but also in power and in the Holy Spirit, with great conviction on our part. The good news here is the gospel of Jesus Christ. And Paul said, our good news, meaning it was shared with him and his friends, of which it transformed their lives. We'll begin with the simple fact that the gospel came to them. The content being about Jesus and his saving power, plus his love. The good news must always be on the forefront of our living life testimony. It continually needs to be shared to others. Here, we simply witness the cause and effect of when the gospel of Jesus is shared. It's that real and simple. Calvin once said regarding the gospel, It is the living voice of God, inseparable from its effect as compared with the empty and lifeless eloquence of men. The gospel message is truly one from the Holy Spirit, whom works within the hearts of the hearers to convict, to comfort, and to instruct. I love the scripture where it is written, It is not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. Zechariah 4, 6. It is by this power of the gospel that the mind is awakened to truth of its great significance to our life. There is a powerful effect that happens when we share the gospel in that lives are changed. Do you recall when you first heard the gospel and how Jesus died for you? Think about that time and recall how your mind was consumed and how your heart was open to Jesus. I remember hearing it so long ago as a very little girl. The love I understood from Jesus overwhelmed me and I wanted him to live in my heart and be my Lord forever continue on sharing the good news to others and see the power of this message change lives. This has been the podcast Multiply. Will you share this with others today? You can locate us on our website www.vcpencouragement.org on YouTube at Encouragement for Village Church Planters Multiply and Facebook. Thank you and be blessed.